Welcome to the BMW hospitality at the 2018 24 Hours of Le Mans, the year that sees BMW return to the most iconic race in the world. My name is Lena Zeep and I'm here with the legendary <laughs> Alan Hyde and we are going to give you some updates live now on Facebook on what's happening here in Le Mans. It's amazing. Uh, it's the most famous race in the world, Lena, and uh, unfortunately your introduction of me is legendary. The older you get, the more legendary you become, unfortunately. I've just been coming here for a lot of years. I think you've done about 10,000 hours it's, of Le Mans it, in your it's, career. It's, it is unbelievable, and it's a race that you kind of, I think probably everyone that comes here will say they have a sort of a love-hate relationship with it because it's hard work, it's incredibly emotional, it's a 24-hour race, and there's something about the importance of Le Mans that makes it that much more challenging. Um, uh, but you look back on it and you get home and you think about what you did over the weekend and whatever event you're involved in, if you're a driver, if you're a mechanic, if you're a, an engineer, if you're a spectator, you think, I did that. And that's just the most amazing thing. And look at the view we've got. We're looking over the final chicane. It couldn't be any better. I know. You're making these people out there very, very jealous. And just to make them a little bit more jealous, I think this is probably the best view that you can get on the surface. I mean, it's fantastic no matter where, but this is the final chicane before the start finish line. And this is also where the race in 24 hours on Sunday at three o'clock will end. So this is right where you can see what's going to happen before the final seconds. I came, I came here last night, Lena, and, um, and, and sat out here on the balcony of BMW Hospitality. How lucky are we to be, to be able to be here and have this view? And I watched the cars, not just the top cars, not just the LMP cars, but also the GT cars coming through here, coming through the chicane. You realise just around this final part of the circuit how quick they are. In 2018, how sports cars have come on through the years and uh, how adapted they are is just thrilling. And we hope to bring some of that thrill to anybody around the world watching. Ab absolutely, everyone out there. I mean, it's sad you can't be here, but we are trying to bring some of that excitement to you. And also, we want you to participate and be part of this. And that's why we really appreciate your comments in the section. Um, we appreciate anything about the race. I think Alan, about his look, about the dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't comment on the racing. Uh, when, when I first came here to Le Mans in 1989, um, you didn't have to... I, 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 do you know, I think I even went down into the pit lane wearing a pair of shorts. Oh, uh, that's a uh, long I, time I, I ago. I know, that was a long, time, a long, long time, ago. time ago. Things are a little bit more important now. We have to wear proper overalls. But overall, I mean, it's important for us that you take part. And uh, if you have any comments about the race, about what we're doing here, please pop them in the comment section under the uh, Facebook live stream. And we will make it worth it. I think uh, Alan has got some news for you. Yeah, well, well, we certainly have. We have a daily prize, everybody. Uh, so if you do add a comment to our Facebook live and, uh, and follow it for all three days, we encourage you to do so. Today is only day one of three for Le Mans 2018. Uh, but we have a daily prize um, and it's a money cannot buy prize. I, I have it here in our little goodie this, bag. Look, look at this. this. wonderful goodie bag. Um, you, you can't have the goodie bag because that's got <laughs> my name on it. However, uh, we have three of these. And when I say it's money can't buy, a BMW M Motorsport cap signed by all six of the drivers. So Martin Tomczyk, Nick Katzberg, Philip Eng, Augusto Farfus, Antonio Felix da Costa and uh, uh, Alexander Sims have all signed that cap. And we'll give one of those away per day. Yeah, and I think uh, there's something even better for those that have added the best comment of the entire weekend. Um, and I think we should let Augusto, one of our drivers, say what it is. Hello, race fans. I'm Augusto Farfus. I'm here live in Lema. This is our beautiful M8 GT. You want to win this overall? Pretty easy. Just follow our actions live on Facebook during the Lema weekend, and you find a way to win this overall. A lucky follow, a lucky fan would have the chance to get my own overall. So good luck and see you soon. So just to make that clear, um, um, Augusto is going to wear that racing suit the entire season. And at the end of the season, um, one of you can have it. Um, we might send it to a dry cleaner before They'll that. They'll wash it first. Well, They'll yeah. wash it first, but you'll have the original racing suit um, of Augusto Farfus. And perhaps talking a little bit more about Le Mans. I mean, this is one of the very few endurance racing series and even, you know, one of the few races in the world where we are not in the middle of nowhere. We are actually right in, a, you know, in the middle of villages called Le Mans, called Arnage. And you have probably been here more than anyone else. How is it down there? I, well, I've, I've, I've spent a lot of different Le Mans in a lot of different 
different places. And as you can see, um, it's a beautiful city, the, 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 uh, the, the town center of Le Mans. Um, okay, now we're in Le Mans week. Um, it's all about and the motor racing. Week, it's it? everywhere. Um, but uh, of course, it's got a huge historic importance in the, in the country of France as well. And, uh, and the whole of the town come out. Um, and celebrate this uh, race, uh, don't they? Many of the people that live here hire out their houses for uh, you know, huge parties of race going fans. And uh, I think, you know, you mentioned the whole week of Le Mans, so it's not just the 24 hours, it's starting a week before when the fans come here and set up their camps and their tents, but there's also a lot going on in Le Mans itself. You're, you're, you're absolutely right, Lena. Um, uh, on, on Monday, scrutineering happens, it happens in the town. The reason that it happens, that's for the technical eligibility of all of the cars. As you can see, BMW M8 is going through the various checks, but it's also time for race fans and locals to go out and see the cars and feel part of of the event when they're yeah. down in the town it's a brilliant that's our drivers absolutely unique all six of the drivers they're, they're, are they're all there. doing social media which is fantastic um, and if you want to uh, add something to that don't forget to use the hashtag mission 8 because that's the theme of our event here but uh, I mean coming to the race perhaps you can tell us why Le Mans is so special I mean I, I, I know a lot of other endurance races and must say for me this is the absolute highlight of the year the atmosphere is so special here and when you're here at dawn like you say and you see the cars coming your way when the lights go on this is just goosebumps isn't it yeah, you, yeah I, do you know I was talking to a five time Le Mans winner this week and I said what is so special what is so unique what makes it the most famous race in the world he said you only have to look at the circuit and, yeah. and, and you realize um, and it, it, it is because it's over eight miles in length you're seeing the BMW M8 going around the, the circuit 13 uh, something kilometers it, just for it, those who it, don't it, know miles it, yeah 13.6 kilometers in total um, years ago the Morsan Strait was 240 miles an hour mm. with no chicanes it's mm. got two chicanes in it now mm. to slow things down but uh, it is an incredible challenge of, of driver and machine man and material and I think uh, 13 kilometers that also includes nine kilometers of public road that this is just not the normal circuit no, this is a normal road that's been used by the people around here throughout the year that will be their normal everyday yeah commute to work or go to do the shopping or anything like that so Le Mans is so unique it's impossible to describe and now we see some pictures of the uh, garage and uh, we see the mechanics working on the pit stop um, I mean have you had the chance to spend some time in the garage during the 24 hours of Le Mans at night oh, oh over the years I've spent a lot of time uh, down there initially when I came here to Le Mans uh, uh, broadcasting on Radio Le Mans right the way through the night but uh, down in the garage and the pit lane is where you and I are going to be based um, uh, for an awful lot yeah, of the 24-hour race uh, tomorrow and Sunday as well and it's just it makes you realize when you go down there that it's not just about the drivers it's not just about the car it's about the whole support act that it's are behind a team effort team absolutely effort. and it's uh, a stress for everyone in the team who's of prepared that um, but it's also about the fans I mean uh, I think there is no other race in the world where so many people from all over the world come there's people from England a lot of people from from your country huge actually. Amount. huge amount of people drive down here there's Americans there's Japanese everyone comes here to cheer uh, for their team and for their drivers I mean you know what is that special pull it's a festival of motorsport that's yeah. what it is it's uh, it's a it's a short holiday for so many people from Britain that come over but they come from all over the world they mm. come from America they come from all over Europe as well it is a unique event and a unique atmosphere we just saw people enjoying their barbecues enjoying their parties it is a festival of motorsport fantastic and it's also a festival of a very special occasion which we have just seen here in the BMW hospitality there was the reveal of the new 8 series coupe and I I think, Alan, um, you are going to take a look go. at it live now. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got, you've got to go. I, I need yeah. to leave you. Yeah, I'll I, go. I'm, I'm sad, but I'll I know you'll come back. I'll get my bits. <laughs> a commentator is never knowingly without his clipboard, so okay. that's an important part of it. See you later. Bye bye. Yeah, and while Alan makes his way down to the BMW hospitality to take a look at the new 8 Series Coupe, um, I just want to mention that this is not the last time you're going to see us on Facebook Live. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock we are back on here and we have, amongst others, the BMW Motorsport Director Jens Marquard in an interview with Alan. And it would be fantastic to hear what you want to ask him. I mean, we are just here to do the job that you ask us to do. So we're the reporters. But if you tell me, ask Jens um, how the weather is going to be during Le Mans, then just pop that into the comment section too. And I will take it over and Alan will ask that tomorrow to Jens. And now um, I think it's time to take a look at the true heroes of this 
race the two BMW M8 GTE cars, of course, and they are the drivers who are driving this, and I'm going to introduce them to you shortly. There's Martin Tomczyk, 36 years old, a German and name well known from the 16 years he spent in DTM in the German Touring Car Championship. 2011, he was a champion of German Touring Car Championship and a multiple race winner, but it's his first time in Le Mans. And there is Nick Katzberg. The Dutchman has made a name for himself in the GT racing scene. He has a lot of experience with endurance racing. And amongst others, he's the winner of the 24 Hours of Spa 2015 and the runner-up of Daytona 24 Hours. He, it's his first time in Le Mans 2. So two rookies that have got a lot of endurance experience but have never come to Le Mans. Continuing with Philip Eng, the third driver in the number 81 BMW M8 GTE. He started his racing career in the Formula BMW and after a few years in other racing series, he rejoined BMW in 2016 and straight away claimed the victory of the 24 hours of Spa. The second car that you need to follow very closely is the number 82 BMW M8 GTE, starting with Augusto Farfus, the 34-year-old Brazilian, is a true racer. No matter in which racing series he competes, he's always one of the fastest on the grid. A long-standing driver in DTM as well, Augusto has also got previous Le Mans experience. This weekend is his third race at the Sart. And Antonio Felix da Costa, a Portuguese, a 24-year-old talented Portuguese who has also competed in the German Touring Car Championship between 2014 and 2016 and started racing in the electric racing series Formula E in 2014. Now he comes to Le Mans for the very first time. So it's going to be interesting to see how these different drivers from different experience and different Races will compete here at the most iconic race in the world. The third driver in the 82 car is Alexander Sims. He, on the contrary, has a lot of experience competing in endurance races all over the world. His biggest success so far was the victory at the 2016 Spa 24 Hours. Yeah, so we've seen all the drivers, unfortunately, they can't be here at the moment because what's going on here now in Le Mans is the driver's parade. So all the drivers in the cars are going to be in the city of Le Mans, present themselves to the fans and they wanted to make it to our Facebook live feed, but they couldn't. But what I've done is this afternoon, they did a little chat, a little interview, and they are going to introduce themselves to you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, BMW M fans. Le Mans 2018 is calling. And I have a surprise for you. All the BMW drivers are here today. All the Le, uh, Le Mans drivers are here today. So let me introduce you to the to these guys. Start so with the car 82, please. We start with the car 82. The uh, <laughs> just yeah. number two car. Shut shut up. You can come to the front. So hi, welcome. Augusto Farfus. Oh, everyone can actually do it by himself. Welcome. So I'm uh, Augusto okay. Farfus. I'm the driver of 82. Uh, Alexander Thank Sims. You. Hi there. Super. That's the camera. You just. Should wait You're here. the interviewer. But yes, yeah. I am the interviewer. Yeah, we have the 82 crew. Okay, and now the most important car, the 81 car, because I'm one of the drivers. So, <laughs> Nicky Katzberg, Philipp Eng, Austrian guy, out of the Netherlands, out of Germany, Bavaria. So, guys, tell me about uh, the last week. How did you feel? Being here in Le Mans, how did it feel to do the qualifying and now finally going into the race tomorrow? Well, it's a weekend full of highlights. You know, we started with our M8 GTE, uh, first time in Le Mans, first time that BMW presents a race car before actually the road car. So it is a week full of uh, adrenaline. Tomorrow the race will start, but I think tonight, soon, we're going to be showing something pretty unique. Uh, the young sister or the cousin or the mother actually of the race car who we present the new A series. Have you been here before? No, no. I've been I here in the last time we ended it was in Lama August. The last time Paul. was here, yeah, with full position. Yeah, so I think we, we, really old, huh? So <laughs> who, who drove already here in Limo? Raise your hands. First time? First Zack. Time. So half half fifty yeah. percent. So actually who did behind. the qualifying laps? Nikki, I know yeah, you did one. our one, and it was you. How did it feel? 
It felt great, man. It's uh, to That's drive cool. this place in the night is really cool. I mean, you experienced this yeah. yourself, but. Uh, you know, when you first look at the track map, you think when you've never been here before, you think this track's not so hard. And then you come here and it's full of secrets. And, and But luckily we had some specialists who were be here before and they helped us out. And uh, it's been great. It's been a great experience. The car feels good, actually. The, ball the car balance is good. Uh, we need a little bit of help with, from the from the BOP to actually be able to match the, right, right. our competitors ahead. But the car feels good, uh, reliable so far. And uh, it's been a really cool experience. Uh, you know, I'm a virgin here, just like you. Uh, I think, just, yeah. Just, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coming back to the car, I mean, that's the, that's our <coughs> baby, the all new BMW M A G T E. Alex, say something. What's your favorite yeah. part on the car? Um, well, I mean, first of all, I, I drive this car over in America as well, so I did quite a few races um, in this car already, and to see the the development from from the early days with this car to now has been really impressive. BMW has done a fantastic job on. Uh, on developing it and, and just fine-tuning all the little bits that you need to to then come to Le Mans and be competitive with the other guys. Um, for me, the the car, the, the overwhelming impression I get from it is the the quality of the electronics on, on board the car. You know, we've made a big step forward from the M6 to the M8 uh, in how many things you can change on the car. Uh, from a driving point of view, it means that we can just ad adapt and fine-tune the driver preference settings quite a lot, which is which is really nice on track because, you know, in 24 hour races, you always get different conditions, rain, dry, night, day. The evolution of the track increases, lots of grip towards the end of the race. And then, you know, we just have those settings to be able to be in a good position throughout the race. Cool. And I guess, Philip, I must not, must, must not ask you, it's for sure the Austrian flag huh, on the car. No, it's actually, I mean, it's a great honor to be here, um, to be at Le Mans with BMW, but the biggest honor I get is my name next to yours. This is when I was a little kid, I was always dreaming about this, sharing a car with Martin Tongchi. When I was already in DTM, huh? yes. and you just got born. Yeah, almost, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so and we have a special day today because uh, tonight is the revealing of the all new 8 series for the normal road. So this will be as well an honor for us to attend this uh, event and to see finally the car live. Actually, we know the race car already quite well, but I guess we're all looking forward uh, to see this beauty, uh, to see the stunning design. Uh, and I guess it's not just me, I guess we're all looking forward well, I to I mean, it. no one has seen her yet. I mean, it's it is, it is pretty yeah. funny. Not we just take a look now. But I guess yeah. we will all order it uh, yeah. after tonight. Straight away, straight away. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, uh, stay online and you will see the all new BMW 8 series. Soon. Ciao. Yeah, Facebook fans, and here he is. He is Martin Tomczyk. Um, I think, Martin, I'm no longer needed because you're a perfect presenter. Is this your main job? Um, no, luckily not. Uh, luckily, I'm still racing the car, and uh, we did it quite well, I would say, so far. And tomorrow, the big race is starting for us. We all looked forward since one year of development now with the new BMW M8 GT. And finally, we are here. Finally, we are in Le Mans 2018, and tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we go racing. You must be super super excited. I mean, this is Le Mans, the most iconic race in the world. And for you, if I remember well, this is the first time you're racing Le Mans. You have probably a lot of experience in other racing series like DTM, and I'm sure you've done some endurance uh, races too. But what's special about Le Mans for you as a driver? Oh, it's difficult to, to find one or two sentences to describe really Le Mans. I think the mythos Le Mans is just outstanding. Um, there are so many parts around the track, so many spectators. The whole setup, what we can see here, the manufacturers taking part here. It's just one of the biggest motorsport events all over the world. And now to have the honor to participate with the all new BMW M8 GTE here, it's just a, a fantastic feeling. And when I did my first lap here around Le Mans, it was just, uh, I got goosebumps all over I the body. I imagine, I imagine. What did you do personally to prepare for Le Mans? So, I mean, did you do special training? I mean, nighttime driving is something that you do in other endurance races too. But is there something that you can do just for Le Mans? Well, we went into the simulator and just to get uh, an idea um, which corner follows the other corner. Uh, but obviously, as a race driver, y you have to 
be in the car and race live here on the track mm. to get uh, all the to get to gather all the data what you need as a driver and basically it doesn't take that much long I mean okay it's 13.7 k's long it's slightly longer than normal racetracks but you have as well quite long straights Sli slightly longer <laughs> yeah, I think slightly it's about longer. 15 it's Formula 1 Grand Prix yeah. that you're going to race not well, you alone but you and your squad yes and I mean it, it was it was cool. It was nice to drive. It was cool, and we got really quickly into the rhythm. Not just me, all the others as well. So, uh, I think we are well prepared now for the race. And what do you expect of the weekend? <sighs> difficult, really difficult to say. I mean, uh, we had our plan. We followed uh, the plan. We stick to our plan. Everything worked fine. We are well sorted, I have to say, for the race tomorrow. But it can happen so much in 24 hours. So keep your fingers crossed, uh, and you guys as well out there, um, that we have the chance perhaps to fight for the podium on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Absolutely. Keep your fingers crossed. And I think, Martin, um, you were also just there to reveal the brand new 8 Series Coupe, um, which is uh, very closely related to the race car. Um, did you help in the development of this car at all? Well, basically, my job was uh, over the last year really to develop the race car, the MHGT. So I had the chance for sure to drive the, the 8 Series already, the new one. And I have to say it's, it's a stunning car to sit in this car and, and just to know, OK, we were first with the race car actually on the track and now you finally can see the road car. Uh, it's just a nice feeling to be involved in this whole project. And now we are seeing some of the pictures of the reveal which happened just now. Um, and uh, I mean, for me, it's, it's special to see that BMW launched the race car before they launched the road car. And this is the result. It looks really stunning. It's a very, very sporty looking car. And I think my colleague, Alan, um, has gone off before to look at the car. So, um, Alan, can you hear me? I there can. he is. I certainly can, Lina. And uh, what a beauty it is. You can meet the beauty now. It's just parked up next to me and a huge amount of interest as people take selfies and photographs and maybe even get in and sit in the car as well. And guess who I bumped into? Another beauty. Lena Gerke is here. Lena, Hi. I'm going to stand up here because you're you're ever so tall and, and have a chat. It's just the shoes. It's just the so, shoes. Yeah. Um, don't worry. Yeah. And I'm in flat, so I don't stand a chance. Lena, you're here for this world premiere of the yes. 8 Series Coupe, aren't you? I'm very excited to be here tonight. Actually, it's my first time in Le Mans. It's my first time at a 24-hour race, actually. And um, today we have the world premiere, so um, yeah, everything is good. I'm so super excited for tomorrow. Um, and I'm soaking up like all the experience and everything I'm seeing here and learning, too. Now, you're a BMW M ambassador. What, do, what does that involve, Lena? Um, a lot. I mean, I have a beautiful BMW M4 Thank you. Um, and I love it. I'm crazy about it because you know what? I love the race spirit they have because my life is really fast and really I, I have a lot of action. I'm like today I'm here, tomorrow I'm flying to Sweden right. and it's always like back and forth. I'm always in action. I love sports. Yeah. I love doing sport. And I think that all combines like BMW too. Like, the sports, uh, the classy, the elegant, they all have that. Well, it's absolutely fantastic that you're here. Um, and you say it's the first time at Le Mans, it's yeah. the first time at a 24-hour event. Yeah. What do you make of it? Because this is a huge, this is a world, maybe the most famous race in the world. I know, I know, and I heard so much about it. And all my friends were like so jealous of me going here and being here today. Um, so I'm going to be on that racetrack tomorrow, actually, which I know is like not easy to get there. Wow. Wow. So I'm really excited and I'm going to drive I mean, I might not drive on my own because I'm not allowed to, but um, I'm sitting next to it. I'm going to see everybody and I'm going to see the uh, racing track and everything. And I think it's going to be a great experience. Yeah. Well, Lena, I, I know you said to me um, before we started this interview that you haven't yet sat in the 8 Series yes. Coupe. So I think what we ought to do, we ought to join a queue because there's a lot of people that yes. want to sit in it. But I think you're next in the queue. I hope so. I hope so. Come on yeah. this way. Here we go. Up towards the 8 Series Coupe. Perfect timing, sir. Look at this. And then, and then no, Lena, you're in this side. You're driving. And we'll leave Lena Gurkha in the driving seat of the 8 Series Coupe and gone, in you get. Perfect. It has actually um, 
the same colors I chose for my car, um, the Tatufu and the black, which is like um, kind of racy too, and I love that. It's like very sporty, but still like feminine and like, I don't know, elegant. Are you trying to say to me that you instantly feel at home in the car? I, I really want that one. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll close the door and Lena Gurka can see if she can scoop quietly out of here in the 8 Series Coupe. Are you going to order an uh, a late series as well? I already did. <laughs> you so already I did. I hope I get it soon. <laughs> <laughs> and you can compare it with the race car. How close is it, the, the feeling of, uh, of both cars, driving both cars? Well, obviously, it is uh, two complete different cars. It's uh, A race car is made for the racetrack, and obviously, this car is made for the road. But it's very sporty to drive. I had the chance to drive it, and that's the reason uh, that I ordered it, because it's luxury and sportiness uh, in one vehicle. Okay, fantastic. So that was Martin Tomczyk. Um, it's, the time is over, unfortunately. I could talk to you for hours, but I think you also have something better to do. You probably want to relax a little bit before tomorrow um, and have a good night's sleep. Um, and I think that's what Alan and I are going to do too, because tomorrow we'll be here at the racetrack all day. Um, not always on Facebook, but on Facebook at 2 o'clock. And remember, your questions will be asked to Jens Marquardt, so don't forget to pop your new questions. And don't forget the comments, because this is what you can win for the best comment of the day. And the overall best comment of the weekend will win the racing suit of Agosto Farfus after, after the racing series. Good luck. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow at 2 p.m. And we look forward to seeing your comments and also your posts under the hashtag Mission 8.